Good morning, everyone. It's Pastor Tim Hammy, First Assembly of God in Burlington, Kansas. How are you doing this wonderful, wonderful morning? I'm going to invite some people in here and uh, get this started this morning. And uh, it is it is a great morning. Uh, good morning, Allison. And uh, it is going to be a great day. We're dealing with Psalms 119-144 this morning. And uh, here's what it says. It says, your laws are always right. Good morning, Vicki. Good morning, Mom. Um, your laws are always right. Good morning, Dora. Just going to slow down and well interesting i was talking to abs last night and she had a great day um she's got a project she's working on for uh, our friends over where she's at and she's just in, having a good day it is actually the end of wednesday over there right now and so she's probably getting ready to settle down after dinner and because it's a 12-hour difference so Anyways, good day. Just enjoying what she's doing over there right now. So, um, exciting. So, Psalms 119, uh, 144 is the verse. Check this verse out. Your laws are always right. Help me to understand them so I may live. <laughs> I was thinking about this when I was reading this verse this morning. Is My parents always says, I brought you in this world. I can take you out. <laughs> and my mom's watching, so, you know, thinking, this is so true. Um, the laws are always right. Help me to understand them so I may live. This is so important. Reading the word of God, good morning, Bob, that I may understand the law the word, so I may live, right? And live a full and holy and right life in this world who where there is so much craziness and walk in a righteous way and <clears throat> and and live in such a way that is is holy and right and that I might live, right? Not in a hypocritical life, but in a life that we may really live, right? And so I'm thinking, that statement that my parents used to make for, for me, I brought you this world that I could take you out, really does resonate um, because the Lord is always with us and he he's not going to really take us out. But we need to follow his laws we need to follow what he's commanded us and take you know the ten commandments um old old joke is that moses went up to uh, up to the up to meet god and he came down the first time seeing what was going down with the people uh, the israelites dropped all the ten commandments broke them he's the only one that broke all ten commandments at one time and so he wrote back up and God gave him another set. So, old joke. Anyways, to know, and, and throughout the word, there is just, you know, things that we need to follow. And uh, we need to pursue that. We need to pursue living a righteous and holy life. And, and that we may live, we may live a holy and righteous life. Yes, we're... In, I know many times I hear, even in my own head, how are we going to live that holy and righteous life? It's a constant uh, pursuing of that, you know, um, to continue to read the Bible, continue to worship in prayer and, and desire and hunger after a, a, a whole, that holiness life. Um, to not give in to the things of this world, to to be in this world but not of this world, to to really desire 
to live a holy and righteous life. And, and when we mess up and when we make mistakes, we go to the Lord and ask for forgiveness and not say, oh, well, I just messed up, so what? No, we, we truly repent. We live a repentive life. And then we realize that we know that we need to make changes in our life. Not to say, hey, this is who I am. If you don't like me, so what? No. If we're Christians, which, you know, we accepted the Lord, we should live as that. We should live according to the word of God, not, not according to the wor world. Yes, the world has what they say so much to offer. Um, the Lord has so much more to offer. The stuff that we have here is just temporary. I mean, I love doing my online devotions. I love watching TV. I love using the internet. But you know what? That's all just temporary. Heaven and my eternal life is eternal. And so um, this stuff that I get to use right now is just temporary. Someday I'm going to spend my life in heaven. And I'm just like, whew, that's so much better. And so I'm going to do my best to live a holy and righteous life. And I hope that you do that as well. And so it's so much important. Good morning, Phil. Good morning, Steve. Good morning, Trey. So anyways, I just wanted to encourage you in that this morning uh, from Psalms 119, 144. So um, just go, pursue God with all you got, you know. So here's a verse this morning. Your laws are always right. Help me. See, I, I love that. Help me to understand them. Um, study, so study his word. So I may live. Write that verse out. So get out your notebook. Write this verse out. Put an O, observe it. A, apply it to your life. P, pray. And then, uh, so um, just going to pray for the all the prayer requests. There's so many of them uh, that I can think of. Um, of course, praying for Abby. Uh, yeah, I love that, uh, Allison. Pray that God's will, not mine, be done. Yes. Um, pray for my parents, Carrie's parents, my parents. Pray for Bruce. Pray for Abby. Um, Doug Hollis. Um, I was at a pastor's meeting, and there's just several of the parents that are just not doing well you know they're actually in hospice there was a couple of them that are not really doing so well so um so let's just pray okay lord i just thank you so much i pray lord jesus for abby today as they're, they're completing their day of ministry and all the other ministry teams for trinity that you keep them all safe and that lord that you give them an awesome day i also pray for uh the parents of these pastors that we met with last night, that, Lord, you know what's going on. I pray that you just minister to them and give them strength. I also pray, Lord Jesus, from uh, Carrie's parents and my parents, Lord God, our fathers, Lord God, that you heal their bodies and give give our mom strength. I pray for Bruce today that you heal him and uh, give Wanda strength. I pray for Doug Hollis, that, Lord God, that you just uh, uh, touch him. Uh, uh, touch um, him or her. I can't remember where I was at. I pray for uh, Trey's grandpa um, that you just be with him in his surgery today. And I pray for uh, direction and wills, your will uh, uh, for each one of us. And I pray for the unspoken, Lord God, that you just... Uh, Work all things out, Lord God. I, I pray for the unspoken, whether it's healing or finances, Lord God, that you just work in those, Lord God. And the other unspoken that we may have, Lord God, that you just uh, work in those. And Lord, I thank you so much, Lord God, that you are in control of all things. And Lord, we just praise you. And I pray that, Lord God, that you give us the opportunity to be a blessing to those that we come in contact with. And I pray, Lord God, that you give us the opportunity to share the gospel with somebody today, Lord. In your name, amen. Have an awesome, awesome day. Love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a blessed day.